All right, let's take a look at this. This is the S&P this morning. We got two setups that we look for every single day on any given market. Now remember, this just doesn't work for the S&P. It works for any futures market, any stocks, any Forex, any commodities, whatever markets that you look at, it's pretty much universal. This can be the same type of setup we're looking for though. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for two types of setups. We're going to look for what's called a WPT and then look for a retracement trade. All right, so let's go over and let me make these a little bigger so we can see. So what a, what a WPT is, it's called wrongly positioned traders. We're trying to catch the wrongly positioned traders. WPT, that's an abbreviation, wrongly positioned traders. So if we look at this morning, okay, like we've been doing ever since we opened the room, we tell traders to start looking at the markets between 7.45 to 10.30 in the morning. That's typically where you're going to get your best setups, especially after 9.30 when the market opens, the volume really picks up all the way to 10.30. So here's 7.45 when you should start looking at these markets. Right here, 7.45 right there. That's when you really should start looking at the markets, right to 10.30. So what we want to do is we want to try to take setups inside what's called a running ATR, the average true range. So we want to take, uh, when these dot, yellow dots start printing, that's when we want to start looking for setups. So right when that first dot start printing, that's when this little triangle formed. We do not want to take longs when that first triangle form. That's just telling the algorithm that we are going to look for pullback trades on a WPT or a retracement trade. So we don't want to necessarily get long or short here when the first triangle forms because what it's going to do, that's just telling the ATR to start printing. It's telling the algorithm to start printing dots with price. So here's the average range. Now I have an 18 range on the 3 sim and a 5 range, I mean a 20 range on the, on, I'm sorry, a 20 range ATR on the 5 Simrenko. This is a small time frame, 3 sim, I use an 18 a little tighter because I feel price likes to hug like it did here. It stopped right almost to the tick on my ATR. You'll see that happen over and over and over again. So there's a triangle that prints. We don't want to go long here. We want to look to buy uh, trades, two trades, WPT or retracement trade inside of the running ATR. So here's our running ATR starts printing dots right there. Dot starts printing. What a WPT means, it means I have speed bars in here. The beauty of this system is that the speed bars right here, the big red enclosed uh, bars, you see a big red enclosed bar and, here, and here's green, is that those tell you that there's typically a big volume spike or there's big possible movement coming in the market in that direction. So what we're gonna do to qualify the trade, we wanna have the ATR to start printing and then we wanna see these opposite color speed bars against ATR trend. That's called a WPT catching the rolling position traders. So we had a lot of this is a big sell volume coming into the market. It's catching these traders short. And we're going to go the opposite side of them. We're going to try to take it long right off the ATR. So once you see a WPT form inside of a running ATR, you're pretty much telling yourself you're trying to catch traders that are short the market and you're trying to take it long. That's why it's so accurate. It's accurate because we're on the other side of them taking it short. We're trying to go long because we had it our dots start printing is telling us as long as I hold inside this 18 ATR then if I get a WPT meaning I'm getting wrongly positioned traders shorting the market against inside of an ATR going up then I want to try to get long so you want to get long right there at the first mark positive market delta our first green bar that closes our Rinko bars are now incorporated into um, positive or negative market delta so if delta turns green, close, that tells you your entry is the next bar, your hard stop is going to be the now the ATR. So if you're long at this level, your hard stop is the ATR because it should hug price all the way up. 
if it's a trend market, we should hug price all the way up or all the way down, at least till your first target's off. Now you can see on the strategy, we're still running. This runner's still running. So at if you're long at 83 and 3 quarters, if they ever close below 91 and 3 quarters, you'd have to exit the position and wait for the next setup. So there's your first type of setup we look for. We look for a wrongly positioned trader trade. The second trade that happened this morning is right here. We're inside the running ATR, so we want to look for speed in the market. Here we get speed. That's a once this closes a green, really a bright green box around price. That tells me I got a possible volume spike in the market and I got a possible speed in the market. What I want to try to do is I want to look for my first retracement. Here's my first retracement that happened for the day. And then we get a buy would be this bar right when it closes green. That would be your buy setups. Let it close. There's your next entry. Now, the next retracement, you see a lot of speed coming in, speed, speed. So let's say you miss this one, you miss this one. Then we got speed coming in the market, speed, 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 speed. There's our triangle pullback. That tells us that we get a possible retracement trade. First target just got hit, so that's off also. So this is another retracement trade inside of a running ATR. Now what happens on the uh, running ATRs is that is it as long as these dots keep printing, we're still looking for retracements. Here's another retracement trade. Here's another retracement trade. You can keep you keep just buying retracements. Right? As long as you're inside the running ATR, the best ones are going to be in the beginning of the trend. So this one will be your best retracement trade and this one. Here's a wave three, here's a wave five. On Elliott Wave, that's your longest legs. So you want to try, once your dots start printing, you want to try to get long the market in the early stages of the trade. Like, see, we got speed. We have a volume spike up here with speed coming in. But now you're a little late in the tooth, right? Because we had an opportunity to get a real small stop down here this morning at 8 o'clock this morning. Remember, we want to start looking at trades right around 745 in the morning. It caught the exact low. I mean, this is pretty, pretty nice catching the exact low, our WPT. This puts you in really a low risk situation because if it goes right back down and close below the ATR, you got a very small stop. But what you're doing, if you get inside and even here, here's a really nice little setup, the first speed retracement pullback. What I find is once I get a WPT that gets it rolling, that first retracement typically is going to be a really nice setup. Because the market has already found support, it caught the rolling position traders off the ATR. That first retracement trade is really a significant indicator of trend. That's where you want to try to get in, right there. If you're looking for trend trades, that's your best shot. Here, you got another shot at it typically wave five, this up here becomes a little bit more dangerous. Because why? Because now we got speed, but we've already had an opportunity to get in once, twice, three times. And like um, traders say that are inside this room and outside the room that leads the software, and they all say the same thing. It's, I mean, it's like traders are very successful with this system. They all say the same thing. The emphasis of a trade is the best for high probability reward to risk. When you get later on in the ATR, we don't know how long this ATR is going to run. So the more we wait, the more risk we're going to take on being stopped out. So if I get a trade set up that happened early, it's better to take the trades on the early move like this. However, what you can do is if you are late in the game and you log in late, yes, in one sec, Gerald, if you log in late, if you can get trades right off of the ATR, here's a WP trade, PT, PT trade this morning again. That's WPT it happened at 5 o'clock this morning, and here's your retracement trade. But if you can get trades off of, let me get one here. Let me find one. 
if you can get trades that are close to the ATR and you're late in the game like this, see, you're late in the game right there, right? You're late in the game. Look at that big trend. So if you're late in the game and you miss this trade set up, this retracement trade, there's no WPTs, just retracement caught this big move. If you are late in the game, your best chance of success is waiting till you get real close to the ATR, like almost on top of it, because then you have a high probability of still of it keep continuing, but your stop is very, very small. In fact, if I'm late in the game, what I like to do, and you can do how you want to do it, I'm just educating you guys what I like to do, you can put limit orders in one tick above the ATR if you're in a hard trend day. And try to try to capture that one, you know, because your stop then can come all the way down to eight ticks, nine ticks, depending what your fill is. You can get away with a nine tick stop or an eight tick stop if you're putting limit orders right on side the ATR on a hard trend day up, trend down. So you don't necessarily have to wait for a WPT and a retracement trade. Once you get good at this, you can buy and sell right off the ATR. Right? For instance, here this this M top. We've had two W we had three WPTs in a row this morning. Okay. Here's a WPT, caught the low, here's a retracement. Here's a WPT, there's a retracement. There's a WPT, caught the retracement. But let's just put those aside real quick and let's look at just trading right off the ATR. That's a setup. That is a sell. Okay, because you're right at the ATR. So you can get a smaller stop. But now as we're running now, so we had, the market was sort of in a chop mode, called a WPT, PT, PT, chop, 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 chop. Now we're into trend, hard trend up. We're having a range expansion here, range breakout like I talked about this morning would happen. Is it now we're moving up? So here again, another retracement trade. There's another retracement trade. So the key for us, and how I'm educating traders, try to get in the emphasis of the move. Try to get near these WPTs and the first or the second wave up because that's usually a Elliott Wave 3 or Elliott Wave 5. And you don't have to know a lot about Elliott Wave, but those are the longest waves in an Elliott Wave pattern. And what I'm finding when these ATRs start taking off, those typically the first pullback and the second pullback are your Wave 3 and Wave 5. When you structurally look at your Fibonacci retracements and the Elliott Wave, it's pretty much it's the first and second wave a lot of times. All right? So remember, summation, wait till the ATR dots start printing, and then you look for two trades, WPT trades that catch rolling position traders, and then also retracement.